the message from the England camp was loud and clear in the hours before kick-off in Brisbane. I don't see that a lot changes for us, was the rallying cry from Sam Burgess, who will stand in as captain after it emerged Sean O'Loughlin would miss England's first World Cup final in 22 years because of injury. From a positional sense, Burgess is right and very little changes at the Suncorp Stadium, he switches to loose forward to fill the role vacated by O'Loughlin, while Ben Curry will move from the bench to start in the second row. Johnny Lomax takes Kaye's spot among the interchanges, so this is hardly a reshuffle of epic proportions for their coach, Wayne Bennett, to contend with. However Bennett wanted O'Loughlin as captain for a match of this stature having handed him back the armband from Burgess earlier this year. The 35-year-old is no ordinary player, and his absence gives England the kind of headache they hoped they would never have to contend with, not least at this stage of the tournament and when they are playing a side that has beaten them 12 times in a row. It is hardly one they prepared for, either, with no other out-and-out out, loose forward in the squad and Burgess playing there as a result of his versatility. How important O'Loughlin can often be for club and country is perhaps best illustrated by a Super League game earlier this year when having guided the Warriors into what seemed like an unassailable winning position against St. Helens, he was withdrawn and Wigan promptly fell apart. They conceded back-to-back -back tries in the four minutes he was off the field, prompting Sean Wayne to throw him back out there and steady the ship. Wigan did not concede another point and won the game. While this would not be the England Rugby League team without the odd setback or reality check in the days leading up to a big game, O'Loughlin's absence means the odds have now shortened even further in Australia's favour, a Kangaroos team that is undefeated for more than two years in all competitions. England, without their starting hooker in Josh Hodgson and now O'Loughlin, are facing a Kangaroos side not short on motivation themselves. Mal Meninga's formidable fantastic Australians will be keen on ensuring several of their stalwarts potentially bow out with another World Cup to their name. There is no guarantee that the holy triumvirate of Cooper Cronk, Cameron Smith and Billy Slater will call time on their international careers following Saturday's final, but at the ages of 33, 34 and 34 respectively, this is all but guaranteed to be their final World Cup game. With that in mind, you suspect Australia will be anything but accommodating hosts in a match refereed by the Australian Gerard Sutton, a strange choice, perhaps, given the well-established and indeed neutral New Zealand official Henry Pernara was available to be called upon. Smith, who was this week named the world's best player for a second time, certainly looks capable of carrying on. Many suspected Slater's international days had already passed before he returned to form at club level with Melbourne this year. England's only realistic chance of victory is silencing that trio, but as so many sides, including England, have found out in the past, that is easier said than done.